PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button, also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. Why does it feel like, and, I, and I'm not here to stick up for anybody, right? I'm just calling it how I see it. And what I'm seeing, I'm trying to pinpoint, and I've been trying to pinpoint before I did this blog. When did the culture go left on Meek? When did, when did the culture feel Meek went left on us? Because two things can be true, right? You got, you got, you can say Meek Mill versus everybody, right? And then you can say Meek has done things that the culture maybe has nitpicked to a large degree, right? Was it after back to back though? Was it was it really after back to back? Because I feel like when Meek came into the games when, when he was with Nikki, when Ross picked him up and they oh, you know, who's a boss, you know, I'm a boss and everything like that. The MMG um came about. I thought Meek was herald. As that guy, you know, I see people saying Philly has turned it back on me. Have they, though? It, 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 and I know people go to the hate word so quickly. Is the hate word warranted? Like I said, has me done stuff to people where they looking at them funny style, right? Um, even the music, I feel like, bro, you gotta stand dreams and nightmares. Whether people want to admit this or not, is one of the greatest hip hop songs out there of all time because and just the impact of it when it comes on how people lose their effing mind when this particular joint comes on comes on right now i see meek come to defense of king combs diddy son um, diddy son king combs had the this track i think it's called pick a side people say this 50 cent listen man pusha t had a song called what would meek do <laughs> And I don't know, what would Meek do? I, I don't know, man. The song at 50, is it really coming at 50, though? I mean, did he really get at 50? He said, when, when all they had was 50 Cent, who put the city on the map? Stop lying, right? And he said, many men, and he added. But I don't really think that was a hard diss at 50, though. Like, I don't think that makes you run to the booth to do a track against King Combs. I know 50 went on on the internet and had some words for, for Diddy's son. I don't know Diddy's son. The, 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 new, the no Diddy word that's been going around, floating around within the last month and some change. You know, the niggas went from no to pause, now it's no Diddy. And, and, and I, I wonder how his son feels about that. And I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be like, you're not, you're not gonna take a lightning to that when that connotation of no Diddy's attached to demonstrations that rush room dudes don't really get down with, with the get down, right? But I did not take that I was a diss track that what King Combs said, right? Um, and then me go, I know 50 went online, he gets at King Combs, and then me took some words towards 50 for coming at King Combs, and then 50's like, um, went on IG and said, you sold 6,000 copies, your last project, you should not be on vacation, Still tracing the dream or embracing the nightmare. Standing by your man, I respect it. Now that's just the words that 50 uses is just wild, man. And we know throughout the time Meek has taken shots at 50, 50's taking shots at Ross when Ross and 50 was going at it. But even when 50 was going at Ross, I always felt like he didn't really go hard against Meek. Now I remember on stage years ago when 50 i think was trying to confront was his trap i think his name is trav i know trav was down with junior that one time when junior was on top of the game and then he's running with meek and everything young trav and stuff and 50 tries to confront him and then meek you know tries to come between them i guess and trying to you know play play peacemaker and then and i was kind of shocked the way 50 handled it. i thought 50 i ain't gonna lie to you I thought 50 was going to swing on Meek right there. I got to be honest. I'm not condoning violence, but I'm just saying how it looked from my lens at the time when they was talking on it. Now, after that exchange, I feel like Meek is, 50 is taking shots at Meek. Meek is taking shots at 50. 
Here we are now. Right? So it was interesting, you know. Mike Knox. I know he made a tweet. I know. I mean, you gotta stop this. You might gotta stop tweeting me, for real. Cause some of your tweets, it it's just that people are getting at you, fam. I know you try to quote a Jay-Z lyric and it was Tupac who said the line and you know, and it's sidebar. I say people say it all. Jay-Z was swagger jacking Tupac. That's why he said on some people hate. Fam, listen, man. I don't understand. This is when I don't understand. So because Jay-Z will take somebody's lines and their lyrics and everything, right? And then put it in his music. That means he's swagger jacking. But we've seen this throughout hip hop when guys do this all the time. Y'all do not go in that bag. Did y'all get that Snoop Dogg when he took Lottie Dottie song from Slick Rick? Did y'all say that was swagger jacking also? I don't remember people saying that. So it's very funny how y'all pick and choose when y'all want these words swagger jack. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. But okay. Um, I know he says something about Mike Knox. He said, you know, Mike, what do you say about Mike Knox? You ain't feed Mike Knox yet. And then Mike Knox, who's part of Fusion Philly, he was down with G Unit, still down with 50, I believe, and stuff like that. He's more inf infamous, known for snuffing Beanie Siegel. Shout out Beans and all that. Um, Mike Knox is, Mike Knox is okay. He's okay. I've, 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 like, so I've heard joints from Mike Knox that I rock with, so I'm not going to sit up and kill Mike Knox and say, oh, I don't, I don't like some songs I've heard from Mike Knox throughout the years. Now, has Mike Knox popped off the way Young Buck did, the way Kid Kid did? Then, nah, I can't say that. You know, even Spider Low probably had more, well, you know, but Mike Knox wrapped off the Heart Part 6 beat and God had some words aimed at Meek. And I keep saying that, see, how interesting is that he used the, the um, the heart part six beat to rap off. I keep telling y'all, I like that beat. I know people don't like the song, but I've been saying for, for since the heart part six, I like that beat. And it would not shock me moving forward if we had a lot of other people rapping on that beat, right? So we should be paying attention to that. Now, Mike Knox was talking real, he was saying some, a lot of wild stuff towards the end of the song when he was actually talking. Um, you know, made claims of, um, me hating on Wale, watching Gunplay get jumped and not doing nothing. Uh, why you fight Safari, the infamous clip on Safari was outside and me goons ran up on Safari and stuff like that. You know, Safari dated Nicki Minaj, all this other stuff, right? But he was talking heavy at the end of the song, man. Now, here's what, what was kind of, what bugged me out is when I saw a lot of Philly dudes go on the academics um, platform to talk about Meek. And these are Philly dudes that are doing this, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, people say Drake gets hated on, this person gets hated on. Does Meek get hated on? I want to ask y'all a question. Do y'all feel Meek Mill gets hated? And I hate that word hated on, right? But I'm only using that word hated on because I do feel sometimes, warranted or not, the bunny hop thing, me, that looked it crazy, son. I ain't gonna hold it. We keep done some things where it's like, uh, you know? You know? And I'm gonna say it again. What Kendrick Lamar did to Drake is what the people wanted me to do to Drake. Let me say that again. What Kendrick just did to Drake on his back and forth on diss tracks and stuff like that. And me cats in door back to back hearing that song throughout um, clubs and uh, people's cars and um, sporting events and stuff like that. And look how I come around now, Drake has to endure what he did to Meek, right? But yes, I believe the people wanted Meek to do what Kendrick did to Drake at that time when he had a back and forth in the 2015, I believe. The 15th, 2016, around that time. Right? So, is Meek Mill going to respond to um, Mike Knox on, on Wax? We don't know. He might act like Mike Knox is, you know, underneath him. So, I'm not going to respond to him and stuff. Is 50 and Meek going to go on Wax with it? I doubt it. Nobody goes on Wax anymore. Everything is trolling, saying this, saying that, and this, that, and the third, man. So, yeah, man, leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think. And they got Soldier Boy also. They got Soldier Boy having words towards Meek Mill, man. Saying that, then did he do? Oh, this is crazy, fam, man. 
Ah, this hip hop thing is just crazy. Now, has Drake and Kendrick started this thing now where people are going to feel like they have to go to the booth now and just start all the feelings that they had towards somebody? They're going to go to the booth now and release joints. Is that what we're, is that what we're going to lead into the summertime of people doing heavy dick tracks? I don't know, man. We'll leave comments in the bottom, man. It's your boy three. One.